Welcome to my channel, I'm Dr. Romano. In today's video, I'm gonna explain why our real estate market will drop by 50%. There are a number of reasons why this will happen. I'm not the only one saying this, and I've made other videos that I said it was gonna drop by 30%. But after I understand what's happening right now, and I understand the situation with China and America, we have a big situation here. If you look on a chart between 1950 and 1990, as interest rates went up and down, the chart is not gonna make sense. Because you have to remember back then, people bought with cash. They had more savings than we do. Today, we have less savings, so we, we actually are making less compared to the average cost of a house. So at $600,000 for a house, your income is not no $200,000 a year. Even if there's two people working, it's maybe $100,000 a year across America. In the 80s, we had the Japanese buyers buying up Manhattan. In the 90s, we had the Russian billionaires buying up Manhattan. But then around 2000 to today, we had the Chinese buyers buying up Manhattan. And that created competition for the average person that lives in this country and works in this country. Secondly, we had many Europeans buying up America after the year 2000 because their currencies started to go higher and higher and higher. And unfortunately, these wealthy business people who produce products in Europe, they seen their fortunes get squandered away because the Chinese came in to particularly even Italy, and I know this, Milan, and they started buying up a lot of the manufacturing. And so whatever they did in, in America, they did in Italy and in the rest of the world. A lot of foreigners came to New York City, let's say, to buy up the, the real estate here because they felt that it was a stable real estate market. As of 2019, that ended. And it's going to be propelled to a serious amount because if there's a war with China and Taiwan, the Chinese have already uh, evaluated what the US government did to the Russian billionaires. They confiscated their wealth. If China does that to Taiwan, meaning if they invade Taiwan, well, the US government is going to do that to the Chinese billionaires as well. And they're going to confiscate their wealth in America. So I don't believe that the real estate market is going to go up for the next seven years. It's going to go down and you're going to see a lot of foreclosures because you're not going to have the Europeans buy in real estate. You're not going to have the Russians buy real estate. You're not going to have the Chinese buy up real estate. And so the competition dwindles down. What Ray Dalio is one of the biggest hedge fund managers and he's predicting a 50% drop in our real estate markets. So if you don't believe me, I'm just a doctor of finance and uh, if you need someone famous to believe, well, you should go believe Ray Dalio because he's saying a 50% drop in our real estate market and that makes perfect sense. I mean, there would be like in, in 08 and 09, there was a 20% drop. But then you had all those foreigners buy up real estate. You could see the real estate in Manhattan dropping now. Don't look at the low end apartments that people can always afford to buy. I'm talking about the super high end real estate. Carnegie Hill, Central Park South is a place where billionaires park their dough because they realize that the real estate markets will always go up. That ended now they're pulling out and they're taking their profits and they're realizing that you can't because they're losing money every time a, a townhouse sells on Carnegie Hill since 2019 the price kept going down a million dollars each year each time it was sold people that realize that the real estate market is going down now and it's going to be just like the 1970s, really bad. Secondly, crime is through the roof. Maybe that was intentional to allow prices to go down. Who knows? But there's a lot of stuff going on right now. And so if you do own real estate and it's your second property, 
and you're relying on the equity, you have got to sell it now. And but be careful. If you have a 50% mortgage on that piece of property, don't sell it. If you're earning a rental income, you don't have to sell it. A 70% mortgage, meaning that your property is at least mortgaged by 80%. Because if the price goes down by 50%, if you actually need to get out of your mortgage because you can't afford it, you got big problems. And that's bankruptcy. So please be prepared for a big real estate market turn down. It's just the end of a cycle. There's nothing wrong with it. These are normal cycles that happen and you could read all about them in a textbook like I had to. I had to study all of this real estate bubbles. This particular cycle actually started in 1994 when that president at that time who was elected, he ran on the ideology that everyone in America should own their own house. Well, that created a spike in real estate values like you wouldn't believe. And of course, by the year 2000, we had an enormous country come in and sweep up American manufacturing, real estate companies, etc. And it's apparent now that they are threatening our government that if they don't get their way, they're going to dump the government's debt on the markets. So this is why our government actually has to raise interest rates so that it's more lucrative for other investors to sweep, swoop up that debt. And that's what's happening now. It's not just inflation. No, this is a, a global change that's happening. And so to protect yourself, get out now. This is why I say you should buy gold coins. Because if you, if you hedge yourself at least 20% of what you're worth with gold coins, then you won't be in a bad situation because when the stock market collapses and we have an economic crisis that happens, gold prices always go up. Don't look at what's happening now with gold prices that they went down from 1900 to 1700. No, there's a government out there that's dumping their gold on the markets to push the gold prices down so that they could come in and sweep it up and buy up 10 times more. That's why those prices fluctuate so much. It's not because people are selling their gold to take their profits. No, because gold price is going to go past 1900 when the stock market collapses, guaranteed. Because we have a real estate crisis, we have a stock market crisis, and we have a global change in our entire world. Manufacturing is coming back to America, so it's going to create a manufacturing boom. It's apparent that our government allowed China to come in and buy all these companies up. But if they confiscate the wealth of those companies, it creates an enormous wealth change because Americans once again are going to come in and start making products of you name it. So that's why I say you need to buy gold coins now. You need to sell your real estate if you have at least an 80% mortgage. Um, and if you don't have savings, you better sell your real estate, even in the house you live in. There's something that you cannot deal with, and that's bankruptcy. Because if you get behind on your mortgage payments, that's a devastating effect to your wealth in your future. It's not just seven years. It's the fact that this seven year cycle, the next seven years, are where anyone with any degree, with no degree, no college, no millions of dollars saved, can actually start a manufacturing company and make money. So those people who are in the real estate market expecting to, uh, to flip their house, it's time to leave that market. Get out. If you're a real estate broker, I say get out of that business. Take your wealth now, sell your real estate, and park your real estate, park your wealth into cash, and save it and hold off. Think about what product that you could make, such as ceramic cups, uh, plastic spatulas, you name it. All you have to do is buy these printers now that print it. So if you don't believe me and what I say, 
please remember to believe those famous people out there, such as Ray Dalio, one of the largest hedge fund managers in the world. So this is coming from me, but also him. I predicted a 30% collapse in our real estate market value, but now I realize the condition with China and Russia and what American government did to, to Russia. And so evidently they're also going to do that to China, or even if they don't, I don't see Chinese buying up real estate again, like they did. That's not going to happen. And so you and me are going to have less competition on the real estate market. And this is another issue that the cost to build is actually going down. The actual products, plywood, sheetrock, you name it, it's all been dropping. That's why I say sell your house now. Take the profits, take that cash, whether it's $100,000, whatever it is, put it in a safe deposit box with cash or your savings account and wait, wait a couple of years. If you have to rent and downsize, then you do so. But do not spend that cash that you made because I guarantee you in three to five years, you will be able to build a house for half the price. I wanna thank you so much for watching. Please remember if you like my channel to subscribe and please do thumbs up, it's right there if you want to say thank you, Anthony, and you enjoyed my videos because that will let me know to make more. And please remember to share my videos with your friends and family to let them know what's going on, to prepare them as well. All you have to do is use that share button. And then finally, send me messages to a live chat and I'll make future videos just for you. And if you don't want to send me a message to the live chat because you want privacy, then find me on LinkedIn. Thank you so much.